Chapter 6 Transportation, Communication and Tourism Points to Learn 6.1 Transportation 6.1.1 Roads 6.1.2 Railways 6.1.3 Airways 6.1.4 Waterways 6.1.5 Pipeline 6.2 Means of Communication 6.2.1 Post and Telegraph 6.2.2 Telephone 6.2.3 Radio 6.2.4 Television 6.2.5 Internet 6.3 Tourism Learning Outcomes After learning this chapter, you can get the following informations. Importance of transportation. Types of transport. Advantages and disadvantages of various types of transports. What is communication? Different means of communication. Importance of communication. Main centers of tourism in Maharashtra. Transportation It is the movement of goods and people from one place to another. It provides a link between raw materials, manufacturing units and the consumer. Development of transportation and development of an area take place simultaneously. That is why economically well-developed areas have well-developed transportation. Land transportation. The development of land transportation depends upon geographical and economical factors. 1. Topography. Planes have a larger transportation network because it is easy to lay out railway tracks and to construct roads in flat areas, whereas it is difficult in hilly areas. For example, Kokan region is connected to the plateau region only through few ghats Talghat, Borghat, Fondaghat, Ambaghat and Amboli Ghat etc. are some of the important ones. 2. Density of population Overcrowded areas need well-developed transportation like Mumbai, Pune, Nagpur etc. 3. Industrial region Industrial area like Aurangabad, Jalna, etc. need good transportation connectivity for movement of raw material and goods. Land transportation is basically of two types, roads and railways. 6.1.1 Roads Roads are one of the oldest methods of transportation. They are ideal for short distances. They are used by cars, two-wheelers, trucks and tankers for short as well as long distances. In rural areas, kacha roads, etc. used by bullock carts, bicycles, etc. Advantages of roads Roads are flexible. They provide door-to-door -door service. Goods can be transported from place of production to the market. Thus, roads help in the development of agriculture, mining and industries. Connecting rural areas to the cities can help in the development of these areas. A good transportation network also helps in development of tourism. During natural calamities, roads are useful to reach places to provide help. Disadvantages of roads They are more expensive than railways for long distances. The transportation of heavy and bulky products by roads is difficult. Some areas have very poor connectivity like the Western Ghats. These roads need a lot of maintenance from time to time, especially during and after the monsoons. 
Roads in Maharashtra mostly follow river valleys like Tapi, Bhima, Krishna and Godavari. Along the Kokan coastal area, Mumbai-Goa highway is very useful for the development of Kokan region. Major cities like Pune, Ahmednagar, Aurangabad, Solapur, Thule and Nagpur are the centers where most of the roads converge. This can be seen very clearly on the map. Due to hilly terrain, roads are less developed in the Sahyadris, Mahadev Hills, Harish Chandra and Balaghat ranges. In Gadchiroli, also, road network is limited due to dense forest. Types of roads Maharashtra has the following types of roads. National highways, state highways, district roads and village roads. National highways National highways connect important cities of the country. They are built and maintained by the central government. Many national highways pass through Maharashtra. These national highways are identified by numbers. For example, NH3 runs between Mumbai, Nasik, Agra and NH17 connects Panvel and Goa. State Highways State highways connect major towns of the state. They are also connected to national highways and other important roads. They are built and maintained by the state government. District Roads District roads connect different talukas and they link national and state highways to increase the connectivity. They are maintained by the Zilla Parishad. Village Roads Village roads are also maintained by Zilla Parishad. Generally, they are narrow and kacha roads, but they are very important for the villages, for accessibility and for the development of agriculture in rural areas. Besides these roads, there are two express highways in Mumbai. Western Express Highway starts from Mahim and runs parallel to Western Railway up to Dahisar and then joins National Highway No. 14. The Eastern Express Highway starts from Sion and goes to Thane. The Mumbai-Pune Super Expressway The Mumbai-Pune Super Expressway is the only super expressway in Maharashtra. This highway has reduced the travel time between Mumbai and Pune as well as the traffic congestion. Road network in Maharashtra is very well developed and all the roads are interconnected. Maharashtra State Road Transport Corporation, MSRTC, runs buses popularly known as ST buses that link most of the towns and villages in the state. MSRTC operates Volvo bus services under brand name Shivneri between Mumbai and Pune and other major cities. Six point one point four. Water Transport Water transport is an important mode of transportation. There are two types of waterways, oceanic and inland waterways. Advantages of waterways There is no need to construct tracks or roads. Waterways are natural highways. That is why it is the cheapest mode of transportation. Ships have less friction. Hence, the consumption of energy is also less. Ships can carry large amount of heavy and bulky material like ores and minerals. Therefore, it is the cheapest and the best mode of transportation for bulky goods. Waterways have a few drawbacks. It is a very slow mode of transportation and ships need to be maintained from time to time. Inland Waterways The rivers of Maharashtra are rain-fed, hence they dry up during summer. They are very shallow and due to rough terrain, they cannot be used for waterways. Only at some places, ferries are used 
to cross rivers, particularly in reservoir areas where accessibility is greatly reduced. All reservoirs which are surrounded by hilly land like Koena, Mulshi, Panshet have ferries. Maharashtra has a coastline of 720 kilometers. This is an indented coastline and hence has a number of ports. Major ports are as follows. Mumbai Port. This is one of the best natural and safe harbors in the world. Many big ships from all over the world anchor here as it has deep waters. A lot of import and export takes place from this port. Jawaharlal Nehru Port was commissioned in 1989. It is the most modern port of India. This port is highly mechanized and most of the export and import is handled by machines with limited labor force. There are about 48 minor ports along the Kokan coast. But they are mostly small ports that handle passenger traffic, fishing or export of minerals. Some of them are Srivardhan, Dabhol, Devgar, Ratnagiri, Vijaydurg, Murud, Bengurla, etc. These ports do not function during monsoons as the sea gets very rough in these areas. Six point one point two Railways Railways are one of the most important modes of land transportation. They are very important for the economic development of a region. Generally, all railways belong to the government. They are very useful for transportation of goods and passengers over long distances. Do you know? In India, the first train steamed off from Mumbai to Thane in 1853, covering a distance of 34 kilometers. Advantages of Railways They are much faster and cheaper than roads over long distances. They are ideal for transporting heavy and bulky goods. They help in the development of industries and trade. Travelling by train is very comfortable. Disadvantages of Railways They are not flexible so they cannot provide door-to-door -door service. The construction charges of railways are very high. In mountainous areas, it is difficult to construct railways. They cannot run without the help of feeder that is connecting roads. In Maharashtra, railways can be divided as suburban and long distance. Suburban railways can be further divided into local, metro, and monorail. In hilly areas, many trains run on narrow gauge trucks and they are very useful, for example, Neral to Mathiran. Mumbai is the headquarters of Central and Western Railways. Mumbai is connected to almost all the major cities of India. In Maharashtra, railways are not equally distributed due to its topography. For example, Sahyadri mountain ranges do not have a railway network due to their steep slopes. Following are the main railway routes of Maharashtra. Mumbai to Kolkata. Mumbai to Chennai. Other routes connect these two main routes. Mumbai to Goa, Kokan Railway. Mumbai to New Delhi, Western Railway. Pune, Meeraj, Bengaluru. Mostly, these railway lines follow river valleys. In the east, Gadchiroli does not have railway lines because it is thickly forested. Mumbai Metropolitan Mumbai Metropolitan Region has a very high density of population. That is why local trains are absolutely necessary here. Mumbai Region has developed local railway network that is Western, Central and Harbour. All suburbs of Mumbai and Mumbai metropolitan regions are well connected 
to Mumbai by these local trains. They are very efficient. Pune also has local trains running from Pune city to Lonavla. Metro trains and monorails are also under construction so that pressure on roads would decline. These rails will be mostly underground or elevated. Deccan Odyssey is an important addition to the railways in Maharashtra, a joint venture between Maharashtra Tourism Development Corporation and the Indian Railways. It is a moving palace on wheels for the tourists with all the modern facilities like a five-star hotel that takes you to many places of Maharashtra. Many foreigners enjoy traveling by this train. Six point one point three Air Transport Air Transport is a very fast mode of transportation. Planes can fly directly from place to place using straight and shortest routes. Air transportation is very useful for the trade of lightweight and perishable but expensive commodities like mail, fruits, vegetables, flowers, medicines, electronic equipment, etc. Tourism also develops if air transportation is well developed. Air transportation has some disadvantages also. It is very expensive so the common man cannot afford it. It has a very low carrying capacity, so bulky and heavy products cannot be airlifted. You need well-equipped and very secure airports, so construction cost becomes very high. Airports cannot function on their own. They need service roads and railways as well. Consumption of high-quality fuel is also very high. For airways, you need highly qualified workers. Juhu Aerodrome was India's first airport and now is used as a flying club. It also has a helipad. Distribution There are four international airports in Maharashtra. Among them, Mumbai's Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport is one of India's busiest airport. The other international airports are at Pune and Nagpur. In 2008, Aurangabad Airport also started flights to Jeddah for Hajj pilgrims. There are many other smaller airports like Nanded, Vashim, Akola, Karad, Ratnagiri, etc. They are generally used by government planes or privately owned planes. 6.1.5 Pipelines Pipelines are very useful to carry water, gas or liquid oil from a place of production to a place of consumption. It is a very reliable means of transportation of crude oil and gas from oil fields to the refineries to the ports for export or to the marketplace. Maximum amount of crude oil is transported by pipelines. They are expensive to build, but in the longer run, they are very economical because they don't need any fuel to run. They are very flexible in the sense that they can be used in mountains, hilly areas or even under the sea. There is no delay in transporting the material. However, pipelines have some disadvantages also. Initial costs to lay out pipelines are very high. As it passes through many remote areas, chances of sabotage are high. Constant maintenance is required. If leakage takes place, it can be very dangerous. In Maharashtra, pipelines are used to supply water. In Mumbai and Pune region, they are also used to supply natural gas and crude oil. From Mumbai High to refineries in Uran, crude oil is supplied by pipelines. 
ropeways. An aerial ropeway is a system of overhead ropes on which carriers, suspended cabins, are used for the purpose of transporting passengers. They are erected on towers, especially at different terrain. It is generally used for crossing deep valleys and steep slopes. Generally, they are used for tourism. For example, ropeways in Raigad. There are different types of tourist spots in Maharashtra. Some of them are as follows. 6.2 Communication Communication means sharing information, knowledge and ideas by individuals or masses. When it is conveyed to a large number of people, it is known as mass communication. Postal services, telephones, radio, television, films, computer networking, etc. are the modern communication methods. 6.2.1 Post This is one of the oldest but most efficient methods of communication. Postal services are well organized all over Maharashtra including rural areas. Post boxes are located even in remote areas so the common man can send post anywhere he wants. Nowadays, postal service has improved by having new schemes like speed post, quick mail service, parcel service, etc. 6.2.2 Telephones Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited, BSNL, and Mahanagar Telephone Nigam Limited, MTNL, are two main telephone providers among the others. Nowadays, the telephone has become a necessity. Besides landline connections, mobile phones are becoming very popular because a person can talk directly to the person concerned without wasting time and money. Mobile services are widespread and as a result, it is getting cheaper day by day. 6.2.3 Radio It is a very popular mode to broadcast news, music, entertainment and educational programs, etc. In Maharashtra, many districts have their own radio relay stations. 6.2.4 Television It is most popular mode of entertainment, news, education, agricultural programs, health, share market, sports, weather information, films, etc. With the introduction of television, people can get the information of almost everything in the world. Earlier, there was only one channel, Doordarshan, but today, with a number of national, regional and private channels, people can see programs according to their requirements. All this is possible due to the artificial satellites that collect information and relay it back even in remote areas. 6.2.5 Internet Internet is a global system of interconnected computers network. It is used to share or exchange information among users. www.worldwideweb provides services like information, communication and data transfer. It helps to broaden people's ideas, philosophies, approach and attitude in life. Students can learn anywhere in the world through the internet. Doctors can help each other through networking during operations, business and trade develop. Television and internet help in stock exchange and share market also. Advertising brings in a lot of revenue. The world is coming closer because of mass communication. Facebook, Twitter, MySpace are some of the social networking websites. Ecotourism and Environment Ecotourism is a form of tourism which involves visiting natural areas, 
in the remote wilderness, rural or urban environment. It is responsible travel to natural areas that conserves the environment and improves the well-being of the local people. It builds environment awareness. It teaches you to respect local nature. It helps us to conserve natural resources, biological diversity and cultural diversity through ecosystem protection. Nature trails are very useful for young students because they learn about life in the wild areas and hence understand the need to protect nature. Visit to heritage places like Ajanta Elora makes them understand our old cultural roots so they realize the value and help to protect them. Six point three tourism. Traveling for pleasure is called tourism. It is considered as an invisible industry. Nowadays, the meaning of tourism is changing. People are traveling for business, but they combine it with pleasure as well. Some people are traveling long distances these days to relax or to get some spa treatment, etc. In Maharashtra, the tourism industry is developing with new government plans and with the development of transportation. Many backward areas are developing as tourist centers like hill stations and beaches. Many people get job opportunities with the development of tourism. Hotels, transportation, booking centers, advertisement, etc. provide a number of jobs for local people. Local craft also gets a boost. For example, Aurangabad stone carving and weaving has gained importance with tourism. Beaches Maharashtra has beautiful beaches like Mumbai, Alibagh, Hariharishwar, etc. Forts In Maharashtra, forts are a great attraction among tourists like Murad Janjira, Sihagad, Raigad, etc. Hill Stations Though Maharashtra does not have very high mountains, some hills are a great place for weekend holidays like Mahabaleshwar, Mathiran, Chikaldara, etc. Religious Places Places like Pandarpur, Shirdi, Nanded, etc. attract many devotees. Historical Places There are many historical places in Maharashtra. Ajanta and Elora are the major attractions for foreign tourists, especially after the opening of the international airport at Aurangabad. Wildlife Sanctuary and National Parks Maharashtra has many dense forests where beautiful birds and wild animals can be seen. To protect these birds and animals, some forested areas are declared as national parks and bird sanctuaries like Sanjay Gandhi National Park, Karnala Bird Sanctuaries and Tadoba. Tourists come to these areas to enjoy nature. Health tourism is picking up in Mumbai where many people from all over India and abroad come for advanced health treatment. The government has a lot of plans to develop tourism. For example, special transportation facilities. Maharashtra Tourism Development Corporation MTDC has tourist guest houses at all tourist places. Government is trying to promote tourism on a very large scale by developing water sports at beach resorts and other facilities at places where people can just come and relax.